In this video, we are going to implement one of the worst sorting algorithms in the world in Java. And then we're going to see how long it takes to sort a list of just 14 integers. Here's a hint. It's not fast. If this is your first time watching this channel, my name is John and I do a Java video like this every single week. Lessons on concepts, full tutorials on how to code something, or just a fun video like this one. So be sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss one. And I want to sincerely thank those of you who do take the time to like and subscribe. It's the only way this channel grows. So I really do appreciate it. And the name of the sorting algorithm we are going to use is uh, most commonly called BOGO sort, but it's also called uh, random sort, shuffle sort, monkey sort, shotgun sort. So the idea behind it is that you start out with some unsorted list of stuff and you just shuffle everything. So you just mix up the elements of that list into some random order and then you check to see if all the elements of that list are now in order. And if they aren't, you randomly shuffle them again. And you keep going until one of those random shuffles somehow puts the list in perfect order. We're just taking our list and throwing it over to a pack of 100 monkeys and hoping that they throw it back in perfectly sorted order. All this program is doing is uh, we create a new empty array list of integers and we're filling it up with values. So uh, we just have a regular old for loop here that just goes from zero to, uh, currently the number is 12, but we'll actually start out with a little lower, lower of a number. We'll start out with the list of only three numbers. And in each iteration through this for loop, we add a random number in that range to our number list. So right now when it exits this for loop, it's going to have three random numbers between zero and 9,999. And then we're going to implement our magical sorting algorithm here that should put them all in perfect order. And then we just loop through our list with this for each and print out each element. And we should see them all being printed out in perfect order. Now we've also got this uh, private method that I've pre-built for purposes of this video. So it just takes in a list of integers and it returns true if the list is sorted in order from smallest to largest and it returns false if it is not. Right now, before we add our sorting algorithm, we can go ahead and run our code. And we can see that the elements that we get uh, each time we run it are in no particular order. And it's going to be our job to implement the sorting algorithm to get these perfectly sorted each and every time. So now let's get to the good part where we are actually implementing our super amazingly awful sorting algorithm. Now, Bogosort may be terrible and slow, but one thing it is not is complicated. It's pretty much just a two line sorting algorithm. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to have a while loop and we're going to say while the list is not sorted and we'll pass in our number list. So it's just checking to see if our list is currently in perfect order, uh, just using our little private method down here. And if it's not in order, we're going to call collections dot shuffle and pass in our list. So that's it. It's basically just two lines. We check to see if the list is sorted and if not, we shuffle it. And then we check to see if it's sorted, and if not, we shuffle it. And we keep going until it magically is sorted. And then we'll exit this while loop and print everything out. So let's run it for our list of just three elements and see if it works. Right. Yes, indeed, that is in order. Let's run it a few more times just to make sure we didn't uh, get lucky and make sure our algorithm is working perfectly. Yep. Yep, it's been in the proper order each and every time. And it doesn't seem to be taking long at all, right? It basically finishes right away, so it's got to be super speedy, right? Well, maybe. Let's go ahead and instead of just having three elements, let's have 10 elements in our list and run that a few times and see what happens. Pretty quick. Our elements are still uh, coming out in perfect order, and it seems to be working uh, pretty quickly. Well, that one took a second, but you know, it's not bad, a second or two. It could be a lot worse for what we're calling the worst sorting algorithm in the world. Right, let's bump it up a little bit. Let's just say um, 12 elements. Hmm. This one's taking a while. Yep. I don't have a watch, I was just... This is the universal signal for... This is taking a while. Yeah. You guys seen any um, good movies or TV shows or anything lately? Well, no movies, not in a theater. Nobody's seen anything in a theater for a year. Barely been out of the house. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, we finished up. We're in perfect numerical order. So let's see, it ran from 9, 12, 54 to 9, 14, 12. So that means it took a minute and a half or so. That's not great. I could have probably sorted 12 pieces of paper with numbers on them in the right order faster than that. 
So it took a while, but it wasn't the absolute worst experience of my life. Um, let's try Lucky 13. Yeah, run it. Okay. And this could take quite a while. I, I have no idea how long it's actually going to take. Even from just going from 12 to 13 elements in our list, we could have increased the time it's going to take from a minute and a half with those 12 elements to now with 13. I don't know, it could take 10 minutes, hours, days, years. I don't know, but I'm going to let it run and we're going to see. And we are not going to try 14. So I'll see you back here when it finishes. All right, that one ended up finishing a little bit faster than I thought, only about seven and a half minutes or so. Not the end of the world. Still a little ridiculous for uh, a list of just 13 units, but I think I'm going to go ahead and increase it to 14 and see what happens. I've got all night, computer. Do your worst. Actually, I don't have all night. I think I'm going to go do something else and let it run. And... So I'm back here the next morning to find it has finally finished. So we started last night at 9.25 and finally finished this morning at 2.17 a.m. So that means it took about five hours to sort this list of 14 numbers with our ridiculous BOGO sort. Now that is crazy. And the thing is, that doesn't mean this will reliably take about five hours to do. It just happened to come along with the exact right permutation at that time. The next time that it runs, it could take 10 minutes to do the exact same thing, or it could take six days to do the exact same thing. Now, the reason it gets exponentially worse is because the number of possible permutations, the number of possible different orderings, uh, increases exponentially also. The number of permutations for a list of a given size is actually the, the size of the list factorial. So that means our list of 14 elements had 14 factorial possible number of permutations. That gives us about 87 billion possible ordering. And the thing is, our program isn't just going through different orderings, and then if one order doesn't work, it says, okay, I won't try that again. It doesn't do that. That means it has a 1 in 87 billion chance of getting it right every time it tries it. And so eventually, it's going to get it right. Now, what would happen if we just increased our list by 1? Well, it would be 15 times harder. So we've got 1.3 trillion possibilities and only one in 1.3 trillion chance of getting it right on any given shuffle. And so we would expect to take it on average about 15 times as long as it just took us to do 14 elements. I would try it just for the fun of it, but I don't really wanna leave my computer sitting there useless for weeks at a time, trying to sort a list of numbers in an awful way just for fun. I've already done that for five hours, and I think that's enough. We've learned our lesson here. Although the BOGO sort is very, very simple and easy to implement, it is also horrifically inefficient for anything more than just a few elements. But I will say it was a lot of fun to try out and to see how quickly it actually gets super awful. If you enjoyed this video or learned something, please let me know with a like, and be sure to hit the subscribe button to get more Java videos, tutorials, and lessons like this every single week. And again, thank you sincerely to all of you who do take the time to like and subscribe. It's the only way this channel can grow and reach more people, and so I really do appreciate it. Poor computer just had to work all night just to sort 14 numbers. Poor guy. I won't do that to you anymore. Oh, that's not true. I might. I might do something similar to that in the future.